While the fact that gold is so dense does help it hold to the surface of a Miller table, the real reason is that most placer gold is flat. It's almost like an airplane wing upside down. The fluid dynamic forces of the water flowing over it force it to stay in position. That's pretty easy to understand, uh, but the question is what happens if you have a piece of gold resting on top of a pile of sand? Is the sand underneath it, as it's washed away, going to carry the gold with it, or will the gold settle down through it? That's what this video is about. What I'm going to do is place a piece of 50 mesh gold on top of a pile of 50 mesh sand and just let it work its way down the table to see if the uh, sand carries the gold with it or if the gold settles down through the sand as it's carried away see there's the piece of gold right there it was deposited up here so it did move down a little bit you can see the piece of gold resting on top of the sand and it is getting carried downstream slightly but not nearly as much or as fast as the sand around it. It almost appears as if it's moving only when a piece of sand collides with it. Not because the grains underneath it are moving away. and as soon as the sand washes away it locks down very firmly. What this says is that the gold will move downstream slightly carried by the sand underneath it. So when you place your sand or pay dirt on a uh, miller table you want to do the obvious and that is spread it out as thin a layer as quickly as possible so the gold can uh, make contact with the uh, surface of the miller table and lock into place as quickly as possible. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.